Hello everybody and welcome back to OceanWP tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to import and export your own customizer settings. Stay tuned. So the reason why somebody would want to do this is if if you're planning to make some big changes to your website within the PHP files or the function.php files, you would generally want to do them in the child theme first to make sure that whatever changes you do make, it doesn't break the site. Now, the only problem with that is that if you have an established website already and you want to install a child theme and activate it, that's going to get rid of all of the customizer options that you've already done in the past. So basically it's going to reset everything to its default values. And there is a way around that. And what we have to do is we have to head over to our dashboard Okay, and what we need to do is we need to go. Okay, so this is our this is our, our live site, the, the main one. All right, we've made customizer settings, we've made changes to the logos and all of that. Now, if we go back to um, our theme panel, okay, and we go import or export. What we have to do is we have to export the settings. Okay, so you just save that and let that download. And once it's download. Downloaded, what we need to now do is we need to download the child theme. So I'm just going to type in Ocean WP child theme. Okay, and we just click on the first one that's given to us over there. And now we can download it. And this takes us to a GitHub page. Okay, so all we have to do is select code, download the zip file. I'm just going to save that. Brilliant. And now we can head over to appearance, themes. Add new theme. I'm going to upload a theme and I'm just going to drag and drop the ocean child theme over there. I'm going to install that. All right, so it says the pair, this theme requires a parent theme, checking if it's installed. So it has installed and it's not active and it's been successful. So I'm going to activate that. Brilliant, so now that that's been done. Okay, now what we need to do is we now need to go back over to our give me one second themes brilliant so now that's active the child theme is active but now if we click on our site you'll see that some of the changes are no longer active so we've got a few changes such as the headings and all of that okay now we need to go back into the theme panel import or export and now we're going to import our database settings. So we're just going to press import settings. Settings imported successfully. If we go back to our main our home page, you will see that our heading and our padding and our margins have been successfully installed. So the customizer settings have now been saved and they are making and now your, your site is now making use of the child theme. So you know if you wanted to make any changes to any databases or anything like that or or, or any customizer settings, now it, it saves automatically. Thanks so much, guys.